there guys, I be the Sample Man, and in today's episode, we are going to go back to Rainwall, because we have a few events we need to take care of, hell yes, so let's leave Howd, hideous Howd Village, oh yeah, walk there, alright, so we need to go this way, yes, yes, alright, so we want to keep going in, we're in the open grasslands of the Serengeti of Africa, of uh, so, Flanna, you know, oh my god, it's a giant NBC ostrich, oh, good lord, oh my, uh, uh, NBC ostrich, what the hell are you talking about, NBC's got peacock, take that, NBC peacock, yes, you got a little cocky there, you stupid peacock, <laughs> oh yes, okay, so let's continue on, oh yes, Alright, so we want to go this way, and we are going to get into another uh, random battle. I love random battles. Oh, yes. Oh, spiders! Oh, lordy, I hate spiders. Take these, you stupid spiders. Take that and these. Oh, man. Uh, got it. Very. Oh, no. Stop that. You're not good enough for us, you stupid spiders. Take that, you freak! Hell yes! No one likes you very much! Hell yeah! Yeah, we did do it! Yeah! Ooh! She's, she's like, every time she's in battle, she's telling Prince, uh, Princess Secret, We did it! Shh! <laughs> You're not supposed to tell anybody! <laughs> oh man! You keep doing that! You keep walking there, there, Lucretia! Alright, hello little midget child. Hello there, oh my, oh jeez. Okay, let's keep going this way. We want to do some more steps. You know, I of the Tiger starts playing and, you know, and, and uh, Pip Prince is like, Adrian! Oh man, I'm going to ride you like a horsey little doggy. And the dog's like, no, don't do this. Oh my god, what are you looking at there, lady? She's like, is there a fish in that water? Oh, oh man. What what does this little decrepit old man have to say? Who would have thought it would come to this? But Lord Bear us wouldn't go to war for no good reason. We have to trust his judgment. Oh man, so we're right behind you too, your highness. Make sure you put up a good fight for us. Okay, no problem. Oh man. Uh, that lady over there standing in that corner. She looks like she's hooking over there. She's like Let's see this mm, yes. This is what you want All right, so let's go upstairs. We need to go to our bedroom here. Yes Let us go to our bedroom. Yes Okay <laughs> Simplest devotion from that old snake. Yeah, right. Oh, man. Oh, it pains me to see my lady have to play along with a fool like him. Oh, whoa. It, strong words for Salem. That's a classic strategy, though. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Right, Lucretia? Read into it what you will. But, you know, there's something I've been wondering about. Uh-oh, what is this? Leon, is the coast clear? What? Wait a minute, what's going on? Holy crap. Huh? Oh, yes, ma'am. No, I don't hear anyone. Oh, Lord. What's going on? Your Highness, I would like to find out the truth behind the Lord Lake Uprising. Lord Barrows is hiding something important. I can feel it. Oh, oh, man. Her bullshit sense is tingling. Yeah, we've been thinking that, too. But we've been to Lord Lake several times, and there doesn't seem to be any dirt on Barrows there. Uh, no dirt, eh? No, the answer doesn't lie in Lord Lake alone. The rioters got as far as these palace after all. Officially, Barrow's soldiers were overwhelmed by the sheer size of the mob. But I've always wondered if that was the real story. But wouldn't it be hard for us to snoop around? Barrow's will know something is up. Not if we have the help of a professional detective. A detective, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, someone who can find skeletons in even the most tightly locked closet. His name is Aboro. Oh, we've been there. Oh, Aboro, I know him. His office is actually a ship, so he often comes to Riffley to visit. 
He just finished up a case, so he should be free right now. Your Highness, shall I have my husband and daughter negotiate with him? No, Abora is the most important potential ally. That is why I think it would be best for you, Your Highness, met with him directly. Oh, I need to have direct negotiations. He's usually at one port or another, so he might be docked here in town right now. Why don't you check, Your Highness? I've already met him. Oh, man. Okay, Lucretia and Kisara left the party. Oh, damn. Okay, let's go meet uh, Mr. Oboro. Uh-oh. Lucretia. Uh-oh, what's going on here? Can't fight? Yes. I need to know one thing. Why are you helping my nephew? Is it to make up for what you did? Uh, what? Did, what? No. No. In the end, I only delayed the inevitable by two years. But I still think it was the right thing to do. I became the prince's tactician because it too is the right thing to do. Okay, so these two really don't like each other. There's nothing more to it than that. <laughs> Damn woman. I really, really hate you. You know that, Lucretia. Oh man, look at she's staring a hole into your chest. Holy crap. But I do feel a little better. A bit better now. And my nephew needs your strength. Please help him, Lucretia. So you hate her guts but call her strong and need her, her help. I will. Okay, and she's been known to turn on people. Just great. Alright, so let's uh head on down to Oboro's detective agency. Oh yes. Alright, we need to go check the Oboro detective agency. And then we'll go back to the uh we'll go back to the room, eh? Alright, so we wanna go check that. And then we'll go up and probably call an episode, maybe. Yeah, we'll call it an episode, uh, I don't care, uh. Oh man, because next episode we are going to bask a mine. But that, that's just to recruit people. But uh, this episode we have a little bit of plots. Oh shit, I'm almost left town, I wanna go this way. Alright, we have to go meet with Oboro. Alright, hey, yeah. Hello, is Oboro here? Oh, Prince, welcome! Oh, man. Detective, Detective Oboro, the Prince is here. Indeed, I am here. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Oh, man, okay. Hello, hello, welcome to our agency. Oh, God, it's a long-haired Mitt Romney. Oh, Lord, here's my card. Do you have a card? Whoa, hey, don't tr karate chop me in the chest. Yeah, why are you poking her in the boob? Aboro of the Aboro Detective Agency. Um, what's this piece of paper for? Oh man, it's my business card. Haven't you ever seen one before? Uh, yes? Yes, I have. I invented them, you know. I think they're pretty snazzy, but they're not catching on like I expected. Uh, you didn't invent them? Oh, uh, yeah, they're snazzy, like you say. Detective, there's enough chit-chat. That's enough chit-chat. Time to talk business. Oh, man, she's running a tight ship here. Oh, God. Ah, I guess you're right. Let's find out how we can help you guys, then. Right this way, please. Step into my office. Oh, man, most... People call their office the toilet. I don't know. Interesting. So you'd like us to investigate what Lord Barrows was up to at the time of the Lord Lake Uprising, eh? That about the size of it? Uh, yes? Yes, can you do that for us? It's a stupid question, I know, but... Can we ever? We'll have Barrows covered in dirt before you know it before he starts rolling around in dirt like the pig that he is. Oh, God. Just like that, Detective? The uprising was two years ago. Do you really think we can do it? Please. With us involved, two years is like two minutes. Uh, that's a slogan and a half right there. Besides, the prince wants us to solve a mystery. And who doesn't love a good mystery? Ruh-roh, Reggie! Oh, uh, what? Wait a minute, what? 
I guess you have a good, I uh, have a point. Oh, all right, fine. Oh, and about the feet print? I'll talk it over with your people later. Yeah, your people can talk to my people and we'll get it all straightened out. Yeah, talk to my agent, bitches. Hell yes. Yes, I, I am, I am happy with that. All right. So, Sajiri, Shigir, come on, wake up, it's time for work. I'm awake. Ah, jeez, what a, what do you want now? Man, what a pain in the ass, man, oh man. All right, leave the rest to us. When the investigation is complete, I'll give you a report. We should be done in no time. All right, thank you very much, detective. I almost headbutted you there, Oboro. Nah, <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, what? What is... Hmm? Is something wrong, young lady? Uh, no. Nothing's wrong at all. You're just so... thin. Sorry about that, Prince. I don't know what came over me. Uh, whatever there, Leon. We have stuff to go take care of at Rainwall Manor. Rainwall Manor, yes. Okay. We got the Aboro Let's try this again. The Aboro Detective Agency uh, on our side. All right, and let's go to Rainwall Manor. We'll talk. We'll go talk to Salem Barrows about that. Nah, not really. All right, so let's go in here, and we're walking up. Oh hi! Oh, your highness, we've been looking all over for you. One of the Queen's Knights has... Wait a minute, a Queen's Knight? Oh, man. Queen's Knights? Hopefully it's Miyakis. Mmm, Miyakis. Wait a minute, I recognize that guy. Hey, how's it going? Uh, it's going good there, Kyle. Kyle, you're all right. Yup, not a scratch on me. But you can scratch me up if you if you get what I'm talking about. Uh, what? Oh, there, Kyle. Holy crap! Oh my God! It's a whole party here. So Lim and Miyakis are both all right. Yup. Well, other than the fact that they can't leave their room, they're under house arrest, sort of like Galileo. Oh, what? Oh, that's such a relief to hear, isn't it, Prince? Indeedly, duly, it's relieving, like uh, you know. Uh, antacid pills or something, holy shit. Well, I'm breathing a little bit easier now at least. Uh, especially after I inhaled my, uh, inhaler, you know, for my asthma. Yeah, I was hoping to come back with either the princess or the sun rune too. No chance of that though, both are being guarded way too closely. And then I heard all the talk about the prince forming an army, so I just had to check it out for myself. Oh, but I have, I've got some really good news about the Sun Rune. What is it? Don't leave us in suspense. Just tell us. All right, all right. I'm getting to it. If you want to get to it faster, you gotta kiss me. <laughs> Wait. As soon as the Sun Palace got taken over, Gazelle tried to bear the Sun Rune, just like Queen Arshta. Didn't work, though. Oh, man. Oh, damn. That's good news. It didn't? Funny thing is, Gazelle didn't look upset at all. Well, not like the guy shows emotion to begin with, but still. No, he just got a whole bunch of scholars together. They've been shut up in the sealed room ever since. Ah, not to worry, not to worry. The mystery of the sun rune is very simple, yes. Uh, sure. Tell us about it, almighty and doodly doodly bald-headed genius. As you well know, I've always said that only the legitimate queen may bear the sun rune. Oh, looks like I was right. Indeed, and without a legitimate queen, we've no reason to cower in fear over the sun rune. Splendid, splendid. Oh, and pardon my rudeness, but I must be in a hurry. I simply must share this wonderful news with Lord Wilde and General Dine immediately. Yes, immediately, I say. I say immediately. What are you doing there, Foghorn Leghorn? Oh, man. 
And there he goes, waddling out of his mansion. Um, what's he in a big hurry for all of a sudden? That's the fastest I've ever seen a fat man run. Your Highness. Oh, man. I didn't want to say this in front of Lord Barrows. I'll say it now. Okay. I'm so, so sorry, Your Highness. Please, please forgive me. Oh, uh, what? For what? I gave you that big speech when we separated at the Sun Palace. But in the end, I couldn't protect anything. Not Her Majesty. Not the Princess. Not the Sun Rune. Nothing. Oh, man. Kyle. Aw. Okay. I'm just glad you got here safely. That's right, Kyle. We need as many allies as we can get right now, and everyone's morale will be raised when they see another Queen's Knight has joined us. Thank you very much, all of you. Oh, you're, you're welcome. And hey, check out all the cute babes hanging out here. I could get used to this place, really used to this place. There's corset girl, hot tactician, slit in a purple suit, silides, uh, cute and Queen's Knight and Rathfleet Hotties. <laughs> and now that's Kyle we all know and love. You got it. Oh man, Your Highness, please allow me to join your fight alongside all these lovely ladies, of course. Hey there, babies. Hey there, chickens. Oh yeah, chicks. You have befriended Kyle. And Kyle is our next recruit. That should be number nine or ten. All right, so uh, you know what we'll do. We'll go to Rampfleet and we'll call it an episode. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna just go to Basca and then call it an episode. That, that'd be a better idea. All right, so let's go to Rampfleet and uh, call it an episode. Or not Rampfleet, Basca. Eh. And we'll call it an episode at Rampfleet. I am very undec indecisive. Oh, uh, yes. All right. Oh, man. Okay, let's keep going. We want to exit Rainwall, yes. All right, because if we don't do this right now, we're going to lose out on opportunity to recruit a few more characters. That's something I don't want to lose out on. So we want to go this way. And we cannot put Kyle in our party right this second, even though he does join the party, like, plus... Uh, I think plus five of the prince, so he's a level 30, so that's a good thing. And there's an Ols! Oh my god, there's an Ols. Alright, let's take care of this thing. Take that, you freak. Oh no, don't jump at me! Stop! Bitch slapping me with those big ass nails! The oh lord. Holy crap. Alright, let's end you. We're going to end you, you stupid wolf! Take that! Get in the face with a steam! Hell yes, hell yes, all right. We did good there, and we're up to 102,000 potch. But I typically do stockpile potch because uh, it does take a lot to, uh, you know, uh, upgrade weapons and shit. My God, I cannot think right now. <laughs> all right, so what we'll do is we'll stop it here there, guys. I will see you guys. Next time, when we go to the Basque Mine and recruit some more. See you guys then.